Before we get there, though, we will meet our usual famous Ozarker. And this time we're, we're looking at the person on, the, on your right. So we're not, we're not worried about the old man. We're worried about the woman in here. And, and I, I, I pretty much set you up for, for failure on this one because, uh, you know, there, nobody's going to get this one. And it's, it's, a, it's a fame that you wouldn't necessarily expect and that even when she was still around, uh, people probably didn't really know her for this until the very end of her life. Maudie Hopkins, who died, as you can see, died just a few years ago. That was uh, one of the last photos of her, kind of a fuzzy photo. She was considered to be the last surviving Confederate widow at the time she died in 2008. Now, these last surviving widows and this and that, they're always kind of fluid because no one's ever completely certain that there's not somebody out there you know, in the, in the woodwork somewhere that, that we just don't know about. Because for many years, uh, what, uh, we didn't know about her, or we didn't know that she was a surviving Confederate widow. Uh, I remember reading a book several years ago. Uh, it's called, it's a, an interesting book called Confederates in the Attic. And the writer in there talks about, at that time, the person who was believed to be the last Confederate widow, I think it was a woman in Kentucky somewhere, and it, and it turns out that uh, you know, that Maudie Hopkins uh, was at that time. But as you can see, the trick to her longevity as a Confederate widow was the fact that she was only 19 when she married an 86-year-old Confederate veteran, a spry man of, of 86, uh, William Cantrell. And uh, what would possess a young woman, a teenager, to marry an 86-year-old Confederate veteran. That's probably the main thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, veterans, uh, you know, for a, for a pension. Yeah. In, in Arkansas, uh, in, the, in the early 20th century, Confederate veterans uh, received pensions, and their uh, and I'm not sure if it carried over to their uh, widows or not, but, but certainly that, you know, if you're talking about the Depression era, when that would have been, and, you know, maybe, maybe she doesn't have the, the greatest prospects for marriage, and I won't, you know, we won't make any comments about her physical appearance or anything, but maybe, you know, she's not exactly being courted by uh, young men her own age, uh, and that you know, maybe looks like a way to, to go. Uh, but 86, 19, you know, that was Maudie Hopkins. Hopkins, obviously, a later uh, married name. I'm not even sure how long her Confederate veteran husband lived after they got married.